organizers behind a new campaign hope today will be the day their efforts gain traction. They're trying to add a new word to the dictionary to highlight the contributions women have made to our society. What do you call a structure like the Brooklyn Bridge behind you? Uh, man-made. Man-made, I guess? A man-made structure. What if I were to tell you the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge was led by a woman? Oh! Emily Warren Roebling ended up guiding construction of the Brooklyn Bridge when the chief engineer, her husband, got sick. And the term woman-made is currently not in the dictionary. What? Oh, that's not good, is it? It should be. We are here at Jonathan talking to the business class by highlighting their contributions about our Women Made campaign, which is all about instilling confidence in young girls and women for this Women's History Month. We know that the skilled trades are dominated by men. Olivia Mashik works at Wolverine Boots. How can we level that out? She talked to a class at her alma mater this week, Jenison High School, to motivate so more students to join the skilled we trades. We are going to have a 6.5 million uh, skilled trades jobs deficit in the next decade. So we want to bring awareness to that. We want to tell them only 10% of the skilled trades workforce is women. So we're really, we're highlighting the amazing things women have done. Olivia and her team hope sharing what women have already done will inspire the next generation of women. My whole generation was not informed about, like there was a whole gap where it was like, go to college, go to college, go to college. The skilled trades were looked at either not as an option or as a secondary lesser option. Brooklyn Bridge, I mean, come on, it's woman made. Check out our website for a link to that campaign if you'd like to sign your name to it. You can also read about the other inventions and mm -hmm. projects women are responsible for.